What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. First of all, I want to say, hope you guys having a great weekend. To everybody that subscribed to the channel, that hits the like button, subscribes. I just want to say I appreciate you. If you can, tell as many people about the channel. Tell them to subscribe because like I said, I don't do this for YouTube. Um, I don't do this for the money. I do it to help all of us get to this money. I just want to see a little bit of support. To keep me going, keep me motivated. And I definitely appreciate you. Um, to everybody that's new to the channel. If this is your first time watching. Welcome to the shop. We're here to get rich together. We're here to get this money. And uh, I would appreciate you hitting that like, subscribe button. To everybody that's not subscribed. That's watching for the 5th, 6th, 10th, 100th time. And knowing, knowingly not subscribe to the channel because you're a hater i want to send five francs your way full blast if you're knowingly not subscribed to the channel and keep watching keep coming to the shop i want to send 20 francs to your mother full blast i want to send 20 francs to your father i want to send 75 francs to your grandmother, 10 francs to your sister, and about 12 francs to your dog. Your weight, full blast. With that being said, we're going to talk about a race to 50 cents with two out of four of my main companies that I have the most money in. And that I believe in the strongest and have the most conviction of and think have the most potential of any other stock. Now, for those of those of you wondering what the other two are, stick around till the end of this video. And at the end of this video, we're going to speak about who I think is the first one out of these two to reach 50 cents. So with that being said, let's start off with the shareholders letter that came out by Cyberlux on the 22nd, which was Friday. And we're going to talk about a few points of why I think Cyberlux is going to run very hard in the very near future. And why I think this company is going to be even bigger than I originally thought. And probably a lot of other people um, did as well. Dear Cyberlux community. Yesterday, the Cyberlux Corporation Board of Directors met and approved a plan for me and our CFO, David Downing, to contribute, to contribute our 420 million shares of common stock back to the company's treasury. These shares of common stock were previously issued to management as insensitive as incentive award shares. Pardon me, this is really a uh, really small handwriting they got here. Incentive award shares and both Dave and I will contribute 210 million shares of restricted common stock back to the company. These shares will then be deducted from the company's outstanding shares, outstanding share count in order to help offset and balance the company's aggressive business roadmap, as was detailed in the recent investor relations presentation. Given the significant member of potential, the significant number of potential acquisitions in the Cyberlux pipeline, with well over 20 companies and projects under review. So let's hold on right there. They're looking to contribute over 420 million shares of common stock back to the company's treasury. If this doesn't scream, I believe in the heck out of this company and where it's going to go. And I want to show the whole community where I think this company is going. And what we have in the works with the possible 20 acquisitions right now 
in the pipe. I don't know what else does. I don't know what screams louder than I got to put whatever I can into this company right now after just reading that first paragraph of the letter. So let's keep going. Given the significant numbers of the, that we already read that well over 20 companies and projects under review, it's important to recognize that each acquisition requires some related common stock assurance and certain related financing activities to drive the business forward, to close the acquisitions and to further incent the income and coming management team to grow exponentially. This is one of the key underlining requirements to, do, to deliver the revenue in our business unit forecast and how Cyberlux grows from 3 million in revenue in 2021 to well over 100 million in revenue by 2024. They're expecting a hundred million dollars in revenue by 2024. Right now, they're at a three million dollars in revenue with a market cap of 250 million. So imagine where the market is going to project itself because, again, which most of you knew, know, the stock market is a projection of the future with these companies it's not what the company is doing now it's what the people that invest think the company is going to be like in five ten years coming down so if we the people give it a market cap of 250 million dollars with three million dollars coming in imagine where we're going to be at with a hundred million dollars in revenue coming in in three years from now. Let's keep going. With the current market value to close, the current market value of close to 16 million, we believe our 420 million share contribution is an important reinvestment in the Cyberlux company and the demonstration of our belief in the company's mission as defined by the Operation Alpha exec Execution Plan. Going forward, we will be issued new management incentive awards to replace the $16 million in share value at the incentive price levels of $0.10 cents and $0.25. Cents. As share price milestones, we anticipate an approximate 8 million in share assurance at the 10 cent share price level and 8 million at the 25 cent share price level. But this will also reduce the number of management shares issued by the amount by almost 75% for the same dollar value. So they have now huge incentive. To quickly get the share price to 10 cents and then to 25 cents, which will also help the investors in a number of ways by share price, inflation, and share reduction. So let's get to it. Both Dave and I committed in word and deed to the exponential growth of the Cyberlux business platform. We believe our contribution of these previously issued management incentive award shares will result in a 30x to 50x return in company growth over the coming years. This is the best investment we can make now to grow the bottom line earnings and keep the share denominator as low as possible. Our goal is to maintain the outstanding share level between the current 5.64 billion to 6 billion shares over the next 12 months including our growth and acquisition plans. Thank you for your ongoing support. CYBL community. Guys, this company is going to be huge. Um, I'm very happy to have 530,000 shares of this company and definitely looking forward to where it's going to go. And very happy with everything that the management is doing for this company and for its shareholders. And everybody invested into Cyberlux 
I'm happy you guys are in tuned in. Please read that letter again for yourselves. Because again, it's really hard to see this. We got very small writing here. But um, hopefully I explain to you guys the main points. And um, how important that letter was to its shareholders. Now let's get into AITX. AITX and Cyberlux right now are both at the three cent mark, a little over. And this week's weekly update video from Steve was probably the most important one yet and um, probably the most exciting one yet. I didn't think I was going to be more excited uh, this week about this company after seeing those uh, 25 units out to one of the top amusement parks. And um, I don't know if we're going to find out the name of it this week or it's going to be another company that we're going to find out that we already had in the past. But either way, we have a huge, huge announcement coming out tomorrow and a huge press release coming out on Tuesday and we'll let Steve tell us exactly what that's going to be good morning good morning I'm Steve Barnard CEO of artificial intelligence technology solutions with our weekly video update I've noticed that about two-thirds of the folks who watch this do not subscribe so I'm suggesting Make sure you don't miss any updates or any videos. Please subscribe, push the alert bell, do whatever it is so you don't miss anything. We have a lot going on as I... To everybody invested into AITX, I need you either right now or right after watching this video to type in AITX on YouTube and press that subscribe button right there. On the official AITX channel for for all your needed AITX updates and weekly videos as well as all press releases and everything else you need to know about this company past present and future I've said and as we have shown over the last couple of weeks and as I was preparing for this weekly update you know we're, we're hundred things that I could have put on my list to talk about today. Obviously, I try to keep this under 10 minutes, so I'm going to share some highlights. I'm going to leave a lot out, um, and I just encourage you to stay tuned and see our progress, which is moving really, really fast. So naturally, there's been an onslaught of news. Um, you know, the RAD 3.0 release on the 13th was a big deal. The Q release was a big deal. Some sales news was, was a big deal. Revised Q3 revenue was a big deal, right? These are all big deal news pieces, which uh, I think the market uh, has kind of picked up on. And we had some really strong volume the last week and a half, which was great, right? Which is great. That liquidity helps us all. So always nice to see that nice to see some gains from our lows and several green days several healthy green days so that is really nice as well uh, so those who might sometimes lose faith in the stock just kind of you know remember days like this right we had the os increase and we had green finishes so i've always said that an os increase doesn't necessarily mean the stock is going to drop and that's what we saw over the last couple of weeks. So keep that in mind, everybody. Now, one investor kind of had a, a good point. I think a few investors have picked up on it. But, you know, we have this relationship with Ghost Robotics. And, you know, Ghost has a dog and Boston Dynamics has a dog, a robotic dog. But neither of those you can invest in. But it was an interesting idea that effectively investing in us is also investing in a robotic dog because of our relationship with Ghost Robotics. I thought that was a cool point brought up by somebody, so I wanted to share it with you. Now, that's actually a very good point. 
I think the robotic dog that AITX comes up with is going to be a huge turning point and a lot bigger than a lot of people think. Um, we didn't talk too much about the fact that Ghost Robotics just came out with news where they're putting a rifle on top of their robot and they're, they're having even more contracts with the military. One of the most exciting parts of that investor's presentation that they had last week when they brought everybody out. I mean, the whole thing was nothing but great news after great news. But that dog that Ghost Robotics and AITX is going to make together just for AITX, that dog robot, I think is just going to be huge. I mean, there's, there's not one setting that I think can't use a dog like this for security. I mean, this dog can be literally everywhere. And, um, I mean, from airports to casinos to amusement parks to warehouses, anything you can think of, this dog can be useful in, in a variety of different ways. We have the Romeo and now we're going to have a dog that's much smaller that it's not going to that's not going to take up too much space. It's probably going to be quicker and um a lot more versatile. I mean th this is this is huge. A lot of you guys can't understand and can't comprehend what this company is doing, but this is going to change a lot of people's lives. Um the company, the stock all these robots, everything that it's doing, it's it's a game changer. And if you're not invested in this company, enjoy watching from a distance, guys. Let's let's um let's listen to the rest of this because here comes the juicy parts. Yesterday we uh, kind of had some more sharing about Stan, which was really cool. We're gonna see that first quarter calendar year next year. But you all know I'm really excited about that one. So that, that's a fun one. I wanted to bring more attention to that. Talking about attention, Monday, the 25th, there is going to be an announcement from a enormous, major, 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 major company um, that we've been under gag order not to say anything about. So I could bring your attention that Monday there'll be the announcement. It won't be before open, though. It'll be sometime during the day. And Tuesday, we'll have an accompanying press release as well. So keep an eye open for that. Stay tuned to my Twitter or YouTube uh, on Monday. Announcement from a major, major, major company that uses our equipment. We're going to find out who it is. Guys, AITX is probably going to be one of the biggest companies in the world come 5, 10 years from now. And um, we got bears in shorts praying, literally shaking, terrified that they made a mistake with this company by trying to short it. And they're starting to realize what this company is doing and where they're going to go. And the kind of company this is turning into in front of our eyes. So they're trying everything. They're trying everything for that not to happen. But just so everybody understands, they're going to get squeezed hard. And this company is going to have a run like a lot of you can't even imagine. I think it, this company is going to blow way past its highs next year. And after that, there's no stopping it. That's why I'm literally accumulating as much as I possibly can um, at these levels and Cyberlux as well. Now, the company that I think is going to get to 25 cents first or 50 cents first. 
between AITX and CYBL? I'm going to have to go with ILUS. I can't. I can't choose um, which one's going to get there first. But if I had to pick between AITX and CYBL, I'm going to have to go with AITX. For the simple fact that I personally like that company a lot better. Um, CYBL, I like a lot what they're doing. I like everything that they're doing. And um, with that shareholder letter and everything that I've seen that this management team is doing and how much they believe in this company with the acquisitions they already had and are going to have, this is going to be one of the biggest. So to all you new to the channel, my top four stocks that I have the most money in right now, that I have the most conviction out of everything in the stock market at this current present time, it's none other than AITX, ILUS, DPLS, and CYBL. My tier two companies are none other than VBHI, Verde Bio Holdings, CLIS. I think when that Android release comes, it's going to blow the whole roof off this company. AXXA, once people realize what they're doing and the numbers really start coming out there, which they already are, but once people start understanding what they're really doing, because I've been in contact a lot with the management over there um, at AXXA headquarters and speaking with the person that puts out these press releases and actually really pressing them and getting trying to get to the bottom of this company and um, making sure everything is on point as much as I can, um, you know, really trying to have them answer some hard questions. And they definitely did that. Um, they definitely held their own and answered, answered my questions At, to the highest degree that I expected them to. And it definitely got a great, um, I definitely got a great feeling after speaking to them about this company, AXXA. So if you haven't looked into them, make sure you do so as well. I also want to talk about one more company. Another company that I want to talk to you guys right now about is none other than Two Hands, T-W-O-H. I think T-W-O-H, after it gets listed on the Canadian Stock Exchange and after this next quarter's numbers come out, I think you'll never be able to get into under half a penny come the first quarter of next year. And my price target, I don't like to put out price targets like that. My price target for two hands by the end of next year is well over 10 cents at this valuation right now and everything that they're doing. Make sure you guys look into that company as well. If you're new, if you're not, you guys already know about two hands. And again, don't listen to me. Make sure you do your own homework before you invest into any of these companies. Um, if you're still here with me, I appreciate you um, rocking with me. I'm going to close the shop up for today, but I will get back with you guys later. Take care.